All right, so the next topic though is something a little different and this actually relates to AMD. Uh, how about that? It's, mm -hmm. it's specifically Anti-Leg Plus. There was an interesting situation here, I think with Counter-Strike 2, where yes. users enabling Anti-Leg Plus at the driver level, it was actually like injecting itself into some DLLs, I believe, and causing the anti-cheat stuff to trigger in the game, which was resulting in people, I guess, getting banned causing problems so it was recommended that this not be used and i suspect this was sort of the catalyst for amd disabling it entirely uh so first alex i guess just remind people what anti-leg plus is about and then let's talk about mm -hmm. like what's going on here anti-leg plus is uh amd's uh somewhat of a response to reflex uh which is an nvidia based um thing that works on like any GPU, pre-RTX, whatever, um, where it is trying to reduce the amount of input latency in the game. And the way they do it uh, is partially, I think it's actually different but across the way Reflex and Anti-Lag Plus do it. We haven't actually had the time to do a full investigation of Anti-Lag Plus because, well, things like this have happened. Um, the, the, the basic premise of why uh, this happened at all is because like a lot of... Um, for example, like reshade or even a lot of hacks that are being done by users uh, in the past historically have tried to retour, retour or detour, sorry, uh, DLL calls. And that's how you get like things like RTSS in games and stuff like that too. Uh, and a lot of anti um, cheat software looks to try and prevent these things. Uh, they don't always outright ban you is another thing. Sometimes they let the cheats or things go on in the background that they know are either innocuous or they want to find, like they want to get like a vector in on it first before they start banning people. But for here, they actually kind of just like started immediately banning people yeah. uh, from Counter-Strike 2. Uh, <laughs> in other games, there were other also issues uh, I read online, like that in Apex, there was also banning occurring, but it wasn't explicit. It wasn't like, um, unlike the reason why it came out in such a big, big thing is because there was a literal tweet from the CS2 main account on Twitter <laughs> that called out AMD. And usually that's pretty that's, weird to see. That's like, pretty bad, yeah. Um, so the thing the, the, the thing for me is that uh, they've now retract the most recent driver that uh, launched, they've retracted actually Anti-Lag Plus isn't functioning. It doesn't even work for the single player games anymore. Um, and I think, uh, and there's also right now currently, uh, Valve is working with AMD to reverse all the bans that occurred. That's good. Which is good. Uh, I don't know about any other games though, so I can't comment on that. But the thing is, it actually brings up a question of like philosophy of how you implement this kind of thing. Like anti Leg Plus was a driver feature in this case and the way it was working with a game like CS2 or Apex Legends. And the way it would realistically do it, the way they decided to do it was through a DLL detouring. And um, that's probably not a good idea. And I was, it's a little surprising that they came out with it without contacting Valve or, or letting know, like, or just even doing it this way in the first place. Not a, probably a great idea. So either right now what they're going to do is they're going to rethink how Anti-Lag Plus works completely uh, and maybe make it more like NVIDIA's Reflex where you get like a dry, like an SDK that uh, ships with the game and then users have an option in the menu to select, yeah. kind of like it is with yeah, Reflex yeah, yeah. right now. Or maybe they're just going to shelve it. We're going to have to figure this out in time. I imagine they're going to have to come up with a solution because the current way they shipped it obviously is uh, not working with what developers want. That's... Even though it looks like it had promising results. Rich did a little bit of testing on it and it looked like it was going to do something really good. That's so, the thing, um, right? But shame. <clears throat> it was a promising uh, feature. And I'm a little bit confused as to how this kind of slipped through. You know, it it does, f I think, like, I don't get it. I'm actually not sure what happened there, but hopefully they can basically take what the work they've done on it already. And like you say, create some sort of SDK for the developers to use where it can be freely included with the games and you can enable it that way. I think that would be the best way to do it. Although maybe having a driver level option with like a big red caution flag, like, or like having, I don't, or having a flag at the driver level where it's like, if it detects say game X starting, uh, disable it, you know? Yeah, I mean, it was already st title specific, so you would have thought they would have thought that point. through. That's a good point. But so I guess, I don't know. And I, but the thing is, I think if they do bring it back, um, they're going to want to also, like with Reflex, enable it for things that aren't just Radeon RX 7000 series um, because, you know, Reflex works with like, you know, like 
almost 10 year old GPUs at this point in time. So like it would be nice to see if AMD brought it back and also with more support. For right. Exactly. Exactly. 